I wanted to thank, uh, I hope I say your name right, Ridhan Abu Bakar for his comment about uh, going and using a 3D Studio Max um, because uh, I kind of thought of that a long time ago but you reminded me that of it again and because of that I decided to look at this a little bit differently and um, saw something pretty significant that, that changes the rules of this whole thing so let's get started thanks thanks again alright I made a claim I made a brave claim that uh, that North North America and South America came out of uh, the Gulf of Mexico or or Central America basically I came out of this trench I know that's that sounds impossible but that would sound impossible if you already thought you knew how this worked out so what I'm going to show you though is what I think is happening this I this I know already crisscrosses but I, I never really thought about that that I've been looking at this at a two-dimensional plane all along when when the earth is actually three dimensionals which adds a whole different level to this um, changes the rules actually a little bit and uh, what it changes is that how how these reoccurring layers may look because in three dimensional uh, in three dimensions this area would fold you would think about it instead of like uh, rotating 180 degrees or whatever crisscrossing it may have crisscrossed twisting like folding inward say like if this is a uh, I don't know a, a pages or whatever in a book if I was to close it away from me what would happen is this area would actually be reversed okay so let me show you here's the this part would be the same so we'll 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 raise that up there and see if there's you know we'll check out the similarities here well you got that mark right there okay I could see that might have made it um, this round part it fits around in here um, if I rotate it, it, it could create a straight line like this, I'm sure. And then, um, and then there's this, those pinchers, God's fingers pinching the world so that you'll wake up. Well, here it is. If I rotate this, of course, 90 degrees, it would fit. It probably fit pretty good in there. If I just left it the same, it fits in here pretty well, and all along here. Okay, this is how reoccurring patterns happen. And oh yeah. I think uh, uh, if you take a look at Florida here, I guess maybe I should rotate this. Um, hold on. As you can see, I can already tell you that this this is one of the one of the reoccurring patterns of Florida, and it makes sense because it's right next to it. That's what's so funny about this. A lot of this stuff is sitting right next to each other, and um, and nobody's noticed that that you know. And yet they, they, they obviously made each other. Like you can see it follow the contours too around the, you know, this sand pit or whatever around Florida. But you can see that these lines right here line up with the these dots and all that. And the lines, if I, it looks like I need to rotate it more, but you get the picture. If you don't believe me, you go ahead and go ahead and make your own copy and, and prove me wrong. But uh, I can tell you that ain't going to happen. So, all right, so I showed you this part, how it matches up in here. Um, okay, so that's that. Okay, so now here is this area reversed. And it would be sitting, if it folded, it would be sitting up here. And... You can see right there. You see that right there? You see how that matches up? But it gets better than that, I'm sure. It always does. And of course, you got these dark marks right here, and you can see how they line up. But. What was it? I did. Um, This 
just bear with me. I'm just like, <laughs> I'm figuring this out as we go, by the way. Um, you can see, okay, yeah, here we go. You can see that this, this is that right there. As a matter of fact, like a fingerprint. You see these marks right here? You can see that they line up with the, with the features on here. Um, I'll probably make another uh, copy so you can see it better, but um, but for now you just have to see it for your, you know the way it is and take my word for it. I guess you can see these these look like teeth. Okay, that's how I I look at it. This looks like teeth, and these look like teeth marks. Okay, so you say God took a bite right out of here, whatever. But they line up just like like dental forensics. Okay, you can tell that this is the same thing. This bit this. There's no doubt about it. And it's reversed now, mind you. This is the reverse of, of, of that area, and it fits in the non-reversed area over here, like, like forensics. Okay? Um, and then if I continue up, you can just see, look. You can just see how the, the, the land feature lines line up. They just do. It's just how it works in the real world. And then, man, this video is going to take forever. I hope it doesn't take that long. So anyways, uh, what else I wanted to show you? Uh, okay, so if that goes there, then you can kind of see how, you know, it helps form that. But what's trippy is now the, uh, let me back out so we can see this. In South America, these, these uh, filaments, um, they kind of like, kind of fit in here too with this part right here okay you see that and you can kind of see how this lines up with, with this stuff right here actually fits pretty damn good good enough that's for damn sure look at that you know that those that those are responsible for making that just by looking at that but you can see how you can see how things line up right here you can see this is there's that the this giant lake in Florida well here's the mountain that used to sit there Okay, right there. And then, let's take this down here. Now that I flipped this the other way, notice this area is right here. Now, fits here. So, this is the other side of this, right here in front of you. This folds into, it folds it's hard. You can get it when you, you you twist and folds. Okay, this is a ro remember this is rotation from a vortex, so it only makes sense that this would uh, twist and fold into one another. And you don't have to be a genius to realize that this this just got moved to a whole new level. It's a whole new plane level for him, for for the understanding on how our planet was created. This is something that plate tectonics can't do. And yet I'm showing you something that's incredible. This is I don't think you have to be a seismologist to appreciate what 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 what's being shown here. I think you just have to be an intelligent person, you know, base not, you know, you don't have to be a genius, but you got to be smart enough to know what's valuable for for knowledge. And this would be something that's valuable. And you can see also that uh, this looks like a it may this area too. This is that this area, but it's this area folded up, fits in here. This is what. This is incredible. I'm almost speechless actually because I can't believe how well this is lining up. All right. Well, I'm kind of curious to see how long before um, science picks this up. I'll be honest with you. This is right. What I just showed you should be huge. It, it shouldn't take long for it to be huge, but you got to remember people got to get through their biasness on how they see the world and how they think things work. But the electric universe, I mean, it, it it's their theory that got me to see this. So I'm hoping in the same way that they can see, because of this, they can see, you know, what I I got for them. I guess we should just go ahead and continue on with this new discovery because uh, it, it gets better. It's, uh, this now explains, because of this, I can now explain um, 
even the recurring patterns that I wasn't sure what, what caused them. Like this area in Florida, this this area right here was unique. And um, because there's not very many other areas where it's straight like that with these lines. So, and I knew it was related to this, but it wouldn't match when I, when I would put that up there. But now that I have flipped it around, because that's what made the Gulf of Mexico, you can clearly see once I rotate that a little bit, that that's what made this area. Actually, I don't even have to rotate it. Look how it fits here and around this corner into here. Okay. That now, look how it finishes off the lines too, by the way. You see those lines? You can see the they got cut off. Well, this is the part that was cut off.